Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with Ticket for some more Foundation, our organic medieval city builder here. Uh, this is again uh, just a little bit of a let's play. If you guys are interested we'll go a little further but I'm going to do a few episodes here and let's see what you guys think of this. Uh, very, very early access. Remember that as you're watching. The UI is definitely something that is going to be worked on and uh, you know it's very, very old school, very 90s-esque. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out. And if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more great content. Uh, we need Extraction Zone again for the lovely carpenter uh, woodcutter. So let's remove all of the remaining Extraction Zones. Oops, except for this one. That was silly. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and give them a crazy big mandate to cut all the trees down in the forest with a hairy. Alright, go. Go for it. I don't think any of that is on our... I think those two count as being officially not on our zone. I'm not sure. Let's put that in there. No, they are officially out of the zone. See that? The blue doesn't allow them access. Alright, keep it going then. Uh, we do, we're going to need more residential. We have 18 people. We have, oh, we have enough housing for them actually right now. We could expand the residential over here. So we could uh, kind of do that sort of thing and give them access to that. Uh, we have enough though. I think we have nine, yeah, we got nine houses. That is enough to do what they need to right now. This does not need to be extraction zone. That would be a little silly, Drake. Uh, yeah, I guess you can, whatever. You can get enough anyways. So we're going to have to really boost up our, our growth here. We have five days until we have enough people. Well, we need 20. I think the number was 26 to get us the item we need. Now we can't even access it. We can't even see it on the list yet, but we'll get there. I promise. Uh, our people are going to need some stuff. So let's slow it down a little and find out who's needing what. Right now, as uh, Amelia here is a serf, she needs clothing, and that is an unfulfilled need. How are we doing for the sawmill building? Or the sawmill. The Weaver's Hut building. We are waiting on tools, which we have none of. So let's solve that problem by talking to the trader. We can unlock a first trade route here. This is going to be allegiance to this little king dude, and this is their allegiance is to this strange crown. Okay, whatever. Enable the trade route. We have uh, enabled, unlocked our first trade route, so we can choose which resources. This guy has tools for sale. He has bread for sale and he has marble for sale. He's interested in picking up berries, stone, and planks from us. Click on the trading resource and tell him what we want to do for a basically standing trade order. We tell him to buy, sell, or not trade various different resources. We're not going to trade wood or berries or stone or planks. Maybe we can trade planks. Let's sell planks that when we're over, I don't know, over 100. Except for there's no, unfortunately, no quick way to do that. Is there a drag? Can I just, no, I can't drag it. Can't scroll mouse. Okay, just have to spam that button. I think this tells him to sell over 100. It's not very interactive yet, but again, hopefully we're thinking this through logically and guessing right. Uh, tools, I want you to buy to maintain uh, 20 tools. This is going to make me broke, isn't it? We'll see. Uh, we can sell uh, when we have lots of clothing. Let's say we have 20 people. Let's go with 25, 30, say 30 clothing. When we have 30 clothing stored, you can sell it. I'm not going to buy any bread or any marble at the moment. We don't need those. So let's, uh, he's going to do his trading thing. Now, somewhere across the map, look at that beautiful path. This is our immigration path. Apparently, that's where the kingdom Look at that. They ignore, they, they avoid walking through the forest. Oh, there he is right there. Look, there's our little trader. He's coming and he wants to buy 50 berries. He wants to buy, we have lots of them. We could sell them. He wants to buy 50 stone. We also have that. He wants to buy 50 planks. He'll buy all that stuff if we let him. And then he will sell us up to 100 tools, 50 bread, and 10 marble. Well, you know what? We could, uh, we could go ahead and let him, for now, we could sell when we have over say over a hundred. Oh my goodness, a lot of this. Spam. Click the button faster, Drake. Fast, come on. It's really hard to click the mouse that fast. And it's not very responsive. 
Okay, 100. 101. Oh, failed. At least there's not like an oops and you click a button wrong and it goes down to zero. Uh, we have infinite, essentially, resources of berries, infinite be uh, stone, not infinite wood, definitely not, but berries and stone you just keep gathering. The rate at which you gather it may not be infinite, but we'll sell, we'll go ahead and sell berries and we'll go ahead and sell stone when we're over 50, I guess. Let's do 50 berries as well. Now, nah, we'll go over 100, 100 berries and 50 stone. Just because I don't want to click that many times. Uh, no, we'll keep 100 stone because we might need it. Because in the next episode, we're, I'm hoping that by next episode, we'll be building our manor house, our lord's manor house, or possibly this episode. Okay, here's the deal 100 berries, we'll s up, anything over 100 berries will sell. Anything over um, 50, 100 stone will sell. Anything over 100 planks will sell. We'll buy to. to up to maintaining 20 stockpile of tools is they're probably very expensive and we will sell as well oh you know and we'll sell any cloth and that goes over 30. i don't want to buy any more any bread or any marble at the moment all right let's keep things going let's see how this fine fellow does with the trade where is he he's probably down the road still somewhere yeah where are you sir you should be coming on the line there there you go Oh, we can't follow him. That's unfortunate. I want to follow him. All right. We'll see what he does. We'll, we'll use a more normal follow. There he is coming into town here. He's going to make this path a beautiful one. He's going to follow the pre-designed or pre-battered road. And where is he going? He's going to go buy some nothing. Bye. Bye. He bought nothing. Did he sell us any tools? Apparently not. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. We have no tools and he didn't buy any. Why is that? We have... We can put in a clothing market. That would be good. So we can actually use some of these clothings. Let's put our clothing market right down there. That's why I left that space available. It's a beautiful spot for it. But we'll see what happens when he returns. A wooden gate, huh? Ooh, fancy. We could put a nice little gate in here. Have a gated community, because that's going to be important, you know. We could put a little gate over here. We're not going to do that right now, because we're kind of going to expand. I want kind of like this, 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 and this for sure. Maybe a couple down here before we do any sort of um, walling things off. We are able to build the Lord's Manor. We'll look into that when it is time. What else are we able to do here? We have 20 serfs. The next thing is one citizen. Well, we need to make sure we get people are getting clothing, so we're waiting on those tools. What is going to require be required so him for him to actually buy the tools? Now, it may have been because he entered. It probably is that he just entered the map, and he is already like same as like the Pharaoh deal where they they step onto the map. They've already left with the mission to buy this this and this when they got onto the map they didn't have it that's what i'm guessing is going on we didn't have the order for it so he just wandered right on through that's what i'm going to guess we're going to prioritize the construction of this thing so to make sure nothing else goes anywhere eight wood to finish off the clothing market Do we have any we don't have any clothing made because we don't have the weavers out we have 52 wool stored though that's good we do have 10 tools okay we i didn't see oh there he is there's that little trader guy. He wants to buy 50 berries, but he didn't have access to it. So or we, we were restricting uh, anything over anything below 100. So he wasn't able to fill that need. But he did sell us some tools. We have 287 coin at the moment. We can actually see our budget over here. Uh, not super important right now. We building completed the weaver's hut and the clothing market. Fantastic. Tells us our revenue and expenses. Uh, total 20, total 49. What does that mean? Um, what, what's the total 20 and total 49? Uh, I'm not sure. Really don't know. Why? What are the two lists here? Is this uh, different days? Is this different times? Is total 40? Revenues and expenses. Is this, I'm thinking this is maybe like a running total of some sort. Or... I don't know. Like, this one's not changing, but this one is. Maybe it's the weekly. 
Because our, our mission is for a weekly. Toggle resource panel. Oh, look at that. Hello, resource panel. You're a lovely thing to have around. Um, okay. You disappeared, resource panel. There we go. Okay. Two more villagers. Excellent. Seven days for another batch. So we now are at 22 villagers. We're waiting on citizens, though. That is the status we need to hit. And this is the weaver's hut. Let's get... We only can have one weaver in the weaver's hut. Okay. How long is it going to take you to weave some wool into clothing? I feel like we're going to need more of those because every single one of our people have to be able to... Wow. I, I, might, I might have been rude in designing your house location. I do apologize, sir. We're not going to dismantle it and move it. But I apologize for the crampness. You just must feel like you're in the middle of a metropolis until you walk five paces from your own home. Uh, another weaver's hut over here would be probably a grand idea because we're going to actually make you go like this. Can I stick it there? Is it going to let me build that? I guess so. It overlaps outside of the village, but it seems like it might work. Uh, are you, yeah, it seems like you're going to be able to build it. Okay. You need the tools. We have 20 stockpiled. That's good. This is, of course, going to be top priority here. How are we doing on the weaving production? Have we... Oh, we got 10 clothing here. Fantastic. We have, <coughs> pardon me. 24 serfs. Oh, we're going to need somebody assigned. There we go. Catherine, it's time for you to stockpile some clothing. And look at that. Everybody is wanting to upgrade their houses because they're now cool people and the Joneses and the Smiths are arguing over who gets the nicer houses. Look at them all. They're just going wild on those housing. That's all we were waiting on, people. Just, that's it. We just needed Catherine here to supply us with some, wow, some good coin. All right. Good profitability there selling those clothings. Uh, we don't have any surplus of clothing right now because they all gobbled it up. We have 26 serfs. Well, what is their need? Building completed the weaver's hut. Let's assign a new fantastic person to that. Do we have any unemployment going on here? We have lots of unemployment going on here. Let's go ahead and assign everybody to fill these jobs. Uh, there we go. So we got three there, three there. Yeah, good. Uh, we can assign another gather or another person there. You're fully assigned and ready. You're working good. All right. I think we have everybody doing jobs that can. As in, we've got all of our places filled. We have a half a dozen. We have five people who are not um, occupied. Aaron, Julian, Rupert, and Rudolph. Carl and Aaron are going to be our lifetime builders. Not a high priority job. I mean, you don't need a ton of builders. Don't don't overdo it is my suggestion on the building. We have, what is this, 12, 22. Okay, we're going to need another housing. Whoa, five buildings unlocked. Villagers reached status, new status of citizen. Hello, Amelia. Good job on becoming a citizen. Now you need faith and you need bread. Okay, well, we're going to have to be... Very busy on that bread and faith. Decorative trees. Faith, do we have a church? Nope. Bread market. Uh, where's the bread market going to go? I think right next to the, uh, the wood camp and uh, right in about there. Or we can put them, we can put it in there. Where do we want this? I think maybe right here. Right there is lovely. There's the bread market. Now, to do so, we're going to have to farm. And before we do, let's look at the desirability area. How are we doing in time? We're doing great. Fertility. Very fertile ground. Do we have a nice rolling hills sort of a deal there? I think we. I think that would be lovely. We'll, we'll set up this area for... Yeah, we'll set up this area for farming. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and find a farmhouse and uh, farmhouse can be put right, 
We'll put one farm. Well, you know what? Let's let's build the zone for it first. We had a new zone available, a field zone. And we can do this sort of thing and say all of this area right in here is going to be farmer's field. Oh, autosave. And we'll do that. That's lovely. Uh, let's extract. Let's push it back just a little there. And then see if we can't build a couple farms in that area. Farm. Uh, wait a second. Uh, display development zones. There we go. Desirability can go up. Now we're going to have a farmhouse right tucked in here. Just not on the berries and buildings. Right there is lovely. One of them there farms. Another farmhouse right in there will do just fine. Actually, we're going to tuck him down a little because I've got an idea. Danger. Rake's getting ideas. A windmill. Can we put a windmill right up here? That'll be beautiful, won't it? Um, a little crowded. Let's find that house and change that. The farm, the windmill first, right here, overlooking the village. Oh, that'll be so lovely, won't it? And a farm house in here. Too close, too close. No, I'm short on money, I think. Yep, that's what I'm short on. A new quest, build a church. That's going to be hard, because you didn't let me build a church. I do not think church is on this list. There's a clothing farm. Nope, not on the list. We can build a road sign. Does that count as a church? I don't think so somehow. Build a road sign here and a road sign here. Thanks. Just because they're really lovely. I'm gonna build a farmhouse down here. What's it cost? It is costing a hundred coins to build that first and village has upgraded his house. Oh, that's lovely. Julian and Lucy now have a nice quality level two house looks just like all the level one houses but apparently they have decorated nicely inside or something i'm not quite sure upgraded houses more villagers come we have 26 villagers four of them are citizens that's lovely to get these uh, decorative bushes and trees we're going to need there we go just unlocked it ah the church is now on the list decorative bushes and trees needed to have um we needed to have six uh, citizens we now have six citizens apparently two oh no, there you go there's the two newcomers they do start as newcomers very very briefly though apparently once they arrive they're like yeah grab a bite to eat and a drink from the well and we're happy all right farmhouse is now able to be built and we'll put it in here i think we'll actually shuffle it like that let's go ahead and expand our field a little bit oh that's the wrong button a little bit over this way and then get rid of this extraction because it looks ugly. Like that. Uh, like that. Then we'll bring this one in. And put it in there. Lovely. All right. You can get out of the way. That's all we have left for, um, for trees. So not great. But we'll see. Uh, I would like another probably. Let's, let's look at the resources first before I jump the gun there. We have 34 wool and we have zero clothing. Oliver is working hard to make some. They have supply. They have supply. Okay, we've got to keep an eye on the wool. Make sure we're not running low on wool. Now, with only one wool stocked in that building, Oliver and Thomas, the weavers, what are you guys going to do? You are out of supply? No, neither of you are out of supply. So when they need more wool, are they going to arrive there and have only one or two of them? That's my concern. So I'm thinking we'd put another sheep farm in over here, right on the edge of the the uh, farmland would be quite quaint, wouldn't it? Right like that. There. Love it. That'll look brilliant. Uh, and I think we will put in another weavers because I'm pretty sure right now with the early access lack of balance, this is going to be one of our big uh, bottlenecks. So let's go ahead and put in a uh, triumvirate of weavers in this little space here. We can build another weavers hut and we'll put it right. We we'll put four of them in the area, maybe. Nope, 
Not there. Okay, stop that. Go wait. Oh, we don't get the money back, do we? Did we get the money back for that? No, we did not. Okay. The upfront costs are not returned upon deletion of the building. So be careful. That's unfortunate. Okay, so let's actually spin this this way. I liked having it there. We'll wait until we got the 200 cash in hand to do it. Come on, somebody go buy some stuff. There we go. And a new weaver's hut there. Uh, we are going to be able to sell bread at some point. What is the next trade building? You are going to give... You're going to need 20 bread. Okay. You don't buy bread from us, but you will buy our surplus clothing. You'll also sell us glass, iron bars, and coal. All right. Villagers upgraded the house. There are now 30 people in the village, guys. 20 serfs, 10 settle, uh, citizens. The windmill is finished. Excellent. We have a a pair of people. Victory, uh, uh, Victoire and Grace are now our um, millers, I, I guess is the right term for it, but nothing to mill. So let's get some farmers going. Three farmers, Julien, uh, Lucy, and Walter. Please stop walking through the farm. Look at them go. Look at them. They're such amazing farmers. But look, so beautiful organic. See, they'll pop right across the path because people traveling the way this way have made a, a pathway cutting through things, which is fantastic. And they'll get to their fill this entire area with um, with crops. So I love it. I absolutely love this feature. I want to remove this right here. Okay, we'll do that. Let's round it just a little bit. Feels a little more organic that way if it's round. There we go. Oh, Drake. Drake. Come on, it was pretty. Then you went and broke it. Well, we can go right up to the door of the farm. Good. All right, shut that off and let them keep going. We're going to build another farmhouse, and that'll increase the rate at which they gather stuff. So these farms are going to have to grow this. It'll go through a process of, I don't know, how many days or weeks or whatever until they... They plant it all, and then they're going to be like, well, it's time to harvest when it gets all nice and grown. See, it's starting to grow now. They're, they seem to have stopped planting, which means they weren't able to plant enough in the time given. So this other farmer will also help that situation, hopefully. Uh, how are we doing on wood and such? Well, we're almost out of wood, which is unfortunate. Our sawmill, do we have a lot of wood stockpiled? No, we don't. So our next thing that's going to be a bottleneck is to get wood. We can make fences now, yay. And we can make a church and uh, coal and iron smelting. Um, why can we not make foresters? I bet you he's down here. The guy, There is a guy that actually plants trees. We need to do that. Once we have 500 bucks, we could probably buy another slot pro uh, property. That would probably be a really good idea because if we don't, we're likely to run out of resources. Desirability of iron. Where is that iron? Way over there and one is over there. I think that's the way we're going to have to go. That direction maybe? It'll allow us to open up more. If we go this way, it'll allow us to open up more stuff. Or we could go off this way. There's a way, way over there for that one. Where's the others? Is there more on this hill? Maybe on the back side? No. All right, well, it's going to be this way that we'll go. So this probably is our next section. It'll open up a decent amount of trees for us, another food spot, another stone spot. Probably a good idea. 32 villagers now, guys. But that's uh, probably a good place to put in a cut here. We'll get rid of this lovely map overlay. We still have our quest to build a Lord's Manor. Uh, apparently we got, yes, and the reward is what? 10 glass and 50 whatever that is 50 something I do not know It's like 50 people they're not gonna give us 50 people when we build a manor is it? I don't know uh, reward of 50 crowns Oh, that looks like it. Oh allegiance to the crown allegiance ah, ha, ha. Trade allegiance to the king allegiance to the church Mm-hmm. All right. Well, whatever that currency is, I'm not sure. 76 is our average happiness. We have 18 serfs, 16 citizens. We need to keep things growing. Uh, we're probably... 
Berry Table Part 4. Market Tent Part 44. So much still to go in this early alpha, but hopefully you guys are enjoying things. I think things look absolutely beautiful in this little game. Uh, we have, uh, you know, this is our current area. We need to unlock a new one so we can get more lumber as soon as possible. We completed a sheep farm. We can get more sheep coming in. That is great. Somebody to work there and spawn some sheep. There we go. Excellent. So things will be hopping here once we get some uh, wheat harvested. Oh, we are producing flour. We'll get uh, continue on from there. Thank you, everybody, for joining me, and I appreciate any comments you have, any feedback, suggestions, or hints for everybody watching and myself to learn from. I'll look at all the little fuzzy wool woolly things running around. Uh, yeah, the city's growing. Hopefully we'll be able to do a few of the missions and expand a few things and show off some more of the game before too long, like the manor building probably next episode and then building a church, one or the other, or both. Uh, thank you for joining me. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out some of the other content here on the channel for you. I hope you enjoy it, and as always, we'll see you in game.